uplifted one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. This is Calvin Lowe, the Logan Power Show. Can't nobody. Can't nobody. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. And can't nobody love you like the Lord. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hey, this is your host, Calvin Lowe, the Logan Power Show, nationwide, worldwide. I know that you're enjoying me. I'm enjoying you. Uh, we know that God is moving. It is January 23rd, 2020. We are 23 days in 2020, 
saying to yourself, I'm 23 days in and God is moving. Well, before we bring our guest on, uh, definitely want to thank you all for listening to us. That's listening to us right now and on the replay. You can listen to any show across the globe. We decided to tune in to us, so we thank you. We're appreciative. Before we bring our guests on, let's go into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this opportunity to be here in your presence, uh, to hear your voice. Father, we thank you, Father, that right now, as I decrease, uh, I decrease, you increase, Holy Spirit. Right now, you'll touch on our hearts, touch on our people that are that are listening in, touch on even to those right now who are guests, Father. We just thank you and we praise you. All we say amen and amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, uh, this is a great couple. Known them for some, oh, some time now. You know what I'm saying? We pushing on at least a good about, oh gosh, about at least seven, seven plus years strong. Um, this is a couple that um, they're currently in California right now, my home state. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Brian Leah Mitchell. What's going on, family? Howdy, howdy. How What's are you? What's going on? How you doing, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you. Good to have you. Good to have you. Yes, yes. Man, hey, man, can you hear us good? Can you hear us all I, good? I can hear you good. I can hear you good. I know there was a little difficulty, so we got you on this three-way, three-way from my end, from my phone, so that's why y'all hearing, hearing all this lovely, uh, lovely good noise. Y'all good. Had to get in touch with my family. So, the Mitchells, tell What's people up, about, tell people about, you know, how y'all met, how y'all got started, how the love connection happened, so we can get on the same page, so we can tell people how this family matters. Uh, so, so do you want the the truth? Oh, do you want the oh. truth, or, or do you <laughs> or you want the fairy tale? Which one you want, bro? Oh, no, I, need, I need truth, brother. I need truth. I need truth. I need truth. Let, let me start with, this is his favorite story. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Hey. Hey, bro, I, I, I had to fight for mine. I, I got you. Put, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, we we known each other for a long time, but, you know, well, you know, when I had to get her, get her, you get what I'm saying? I had to, you know, actually go into them streets and knock the dude off she was dating. Uh-oh. You know, put, put two knots on his forehead. Oh, here we go. And she didn't want him no more. <laughs> Oh, get it. Uh-oh. Well, well, already, it's it tape. Now, listen to me now. Listen. For those of listeners right now, this is, this is um, Brian and Leah, we, we've been knowing each other since they, we, they were, uh, we went to the same church, Truth and Fellowship, um, and, uh, you know, Brian was in the military just like myself, you know, I was in the Marine Corps, he's in the Navy, doing his thing, and we hit it off, you know, bees, yeah. uh, bees always kept it real, him and his wife. I'm always good family, got great kids. Um, his wife is just like mine, very humble lady, you know what I'm saying? What? Like, you know, she humble. What? She's humble. Like, come on now, don't let me down. Listen, no. ever since I know your wife now, your wife no. remind me of mine. They be, they, 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 like I said, they are humble behind, <laughs> out, out in the public. You know what I'm saying? They're the ones that they be talking and they be having that conversation. And you're like, oh, man, your wife is so quiet. You know, right. what I'm and you be right. like saying like, okay, Ooh. so okay, Ooh. so y'all y'all y'all, y'all, know, y'all know the real story, okay. Right. But I'm a leader, so for what I have known, see, I, I'm not behind these people's closet, but they are a humble couple. Um, like like Brian will tell you, he does, he fights for what he believes in. I'm gonna tell you that right now. If you was a a prayer warrior, and in the natural, you want to call somebody. Call my boy B, because like I said, you don't understand this. You'll come with it. But let's get back to the story. You put two knots on my man's head, and, and your woman said, I don't want him, I want you. So how did you convince her to say you were the right Mr. Right? Well, I mean, I mean, it just after that, you know what I'm saying, the googly eyes just, you know, turned to hearts. And then, you know, you know, we, he, we me and the dude went to the same school at this time. So... Okay. You know, at, at that moment, you know, I was I was that dude. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, we, we had a we had a close. It was, you know, it is what it is. You get what I'm saying? We we wanted the same girl, 
you know, you know, like just like in football, you know, the best team always wins. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> and, and I'm still winning. <laughs> I got you. You still winning? I let listen, listen. You sound like you still waiting to laugh in the same way I've known you for some time. <laughs> so let's ask your wife, Miss Leah. What is it about your husband that you say, you know what? I'm gonna marry this guy, you know. And I'm a, I'm a basically I'm gonna be his wife. What what sealed the deal? What closed it closed it for you? For me, oh yes. Brian is hilarious. The way you guys <laughs> get him out there, I get him that way all the time. That is what sold me. I love his humor. I love that he can make me laugh. Like that for me was everything. Got it. Amen. Amen. And and them two not. Yes. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go, man. Man, see, see, like I said, you know, Brian, Brian, Brian is Peter, y'all. Brian is Peter. He one of the disciples gonna get the knife out. He cut your ear off. Talking about his loyalty. That's what that's what Brian is. Yeah, you gotta understand. Yeah. B is that kind of person that will that will really will fight for what he believes in. Um, he like I said, but he is hilarious. Now, now B B is very funny, but I can tell you about this. But B can be very serious too. There's another side to him now. <laughs> that 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 I got to experience that firsthand in a good righteous way. We, I say righteous way. We say a righteous way. I I call it to be the righteous way. You know, you hear the you hear the stories and you be like, is it like that? And he yeah. like, yeah, it's like that. Okay. I said, okay. Well, let me keep it one hundred with you the entire time, then, and we gonna be just fine. Right. Like, all I want to do is keep it one hundred. If that's how you roll, I'm good. But no surprises. The time, no surprises. You thought yeah. you, where's the way Brian talked? You thought he was a Marine Corps. Cause my brother be talking about like you know, Cal, we good. It's two against ten. We straight. I said okay. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. You know it. I know that's what it is. I know he, he he's hiding under under the, under the camouflage, the camis, say Navy, but he got the Marine Corps in his heart. I know it. Okay. I know it. Man, I know I'm it. just I'm just you know initial success or total failure. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Well, tell people how long you guys have been married for. 16 years. Wow. Amen. 16 years, ladies and gentlemen, 16 years. Yeah. And then tell people the the age of your, of your kids. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh-oh. Um, 17 and 14. Yeah. Got it. Amen. Amen. Now, the oldest. Was, yeah, you guys have got it. Now. Right, right, right. Got it. You got to be. You got to be the help now. She got to get the ages down. Seventeen right. and fourteen. Now, right. now for those who for those who don't follow them on Facebook, they don't look. They don't look it now. They are a very vibrant couple. Right. You know what I'm saying? We all we all in the same same age bracket. And now, I think uh, you older. Wait, 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 wait. Let, 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 hold on. Now. I think you older, bro. Okay, listen. I listen to me, bro. Like I said, I'm in my thirties, like we all thirty. So we, like I said, I'm I'm no, receiving no, like, my thirties. No, no, it's early thirties, mid thirties, and late thirties. You know what I'm I, I, I think my late. Hey, listen, I thank God for thirty nine, cause I look. I'm happy for thirty nine. Okay. Hey, you look good at thirty nine, dog. I'm telling you, bro. You you look good, brother. You look good. You know that. You know I thank I thank the Lord first. That's why I thank Him first. Secondly, I thank my wife. The wife, you know, cause you know, you know, cause the thing about this, he people don't get this yet. And I want all my my brothers and sisters to listen to the faith. When you've been in the military a good bit amount of time, you know, and you have kids, they take all your hair away. That's why I say, you know, people talk about man, I, I want to do like you know the 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 regrowth hair, regress or whatever <laughs> y'all use to put the the, the chia pet, whatever, whatever you use, whatever. whatever you use, that's you. But like, I gotta go, I gotta go, Mister Clean, keep it low. Cause yeah. the last thing I want to do is like you know you got patches and you're you like cow you got hair there you like that's why you're wearing a hat you know what I'm saying well hey that's you know that's just you know God I, I I've been praying about the hair coming back but I said Lord if it ain't there hey just give me a warn just cut it on down my right, little brother right. just, that's just it let you know. <laughs> just, just let, let you know just let you know you know because you don't want to be looking like George Jefferson uh, all on camera and whatnot it, that ain't the look no more bro you don't want to have half donut. No, <laughs> not at all, not at all. I'm sorry for the fellas that are listening that got to have donut, but I'm telling you, you, 
your 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 girl is confused, you know, when she rub your head if it's smooth and then it's hair, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe 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 the fellows can maybe understand it. I know George Jelly, it worked for the, that time, and you you can get away it with it, but now no but now mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it go. right now, you, you let it go, let it go, Choose. like Susie this day. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I told you my family's funny. So with your kids, um, can you let us know like who's the oldest, the girl or the boy? So you hear? He said yes. the girl or the boy. Thank you. So, uh, um, the girl is the oldest. She's actually, okay. Uh, she's a senior this year. Oh snap! Here we go. See, like I said, now knowing my knowing my brother B, he already got his. We had the discussion because we both have we both have daughters. My uh-huh. and our daughters are the oldest. Uh-huh. And so we had we had that conversation, you know that, yes. you know we we had that, you know, because you know I don't know about y'all, but we understand rules. We can see them like, oh baby, that's a that's a wolf right there. Come on, Claire, mm-hmm. let me talk. Let me mm-hmm. have a conversation with you real mm-hmm. quick. Now listen, mm-hmm. this this day the Lord. Now you leave my daughter alone. Listen, I used to be you back in the day. Right. You ain't right. Act right, then, bro. All all no no love lost. Hey, I'll that... tell you like this. I'll tell you like this. I'll tell you like this. I, I know what the Bible says, okay? This is what the Bible says, right? It says, uh, it says, uh, you know, you know, wives submit unto the Lord. I mean, submit to your husbands unto the Lord, right? So that means we got his daughters in his hands, right? And yes, I, sir. Can you imagine if we did wrong by his daughters? Mm. So, you know, Christ-like, <laughs> right? Yes, sir. <laughs> I have to resemble the same type of, uh, you know, character. So anybody that comes in my daughter's life has to understand the um, the connection, so to speak. Yes, sir. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I mean? If I held myself to a standard, guess what? Uh, whoever comes into my children's life, put it like that, has to understand that there's a standard that has to be upheld no matter what. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. Amen to that. Amen. Amen. Or it will so, be a problem. A serious <laughs> problem. <laughs> and listen, and listen, for those who are listening to me, now, Brian is like myself. We, we ain't Shaq. We ain't 7-1, stuff mm-hmm. like that. But mm-hmm. we, we we handle ourselves 100%. like we seven like we 7-1. Like, no, like, like 10 of us. Like it's 10 of us. <laughs> And like I, I said, it, I come it's from real. all angles. For real. And like I said, and, come and get never you scared. in the daytime like it's dark. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Amen. So your daughter is a senior in high school, and your son is either a freshman or is it eighth grade? No, he's he's a freshman. He, um, he's uh, in the middle of his freshman year. Got it. Amen. So like I said, man, three three more years, and, and next year knowing – this is you Bruh. and your wife. Yes. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> don't don't listen. I see the light. I see the light. I, I, man, I see the mountain hot. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> My eyes have seen the glory of it. <laughs> and for those that listen to us right now, listen to me. I don't know about y'all, but when you have a family, and you know if you ever. I, like I said, I don't go by my my brother's social media posts with him and his wife and his kids. I know from from the heart they they love their children, okay, and they've trained their children exactly how they should live, how they should walk, how they should talk, and so. But we're still young. I'm gonna yeah. let people know that we are still young. So when our kids depart and they go off, say go off to mm. college and do your mm. thing. Mm. Do your thing. Listen to me, and I'll be just fine. Cause I'll be still yeah. young, still doing mm-hmm. me, and yep. you do you. Pass you up. That's it. I said, you know, what I'm saying that's the thing. I and like you know, and, and shout out to all, shout out to all, shout out to all the fathers like us who are still doing something. Like you playing basketball, you're you're hooping, you you're, you're vibrant, you're keeping yourself together. I want mm-hmm. y'all to understand this is that. You gotta keep keep staying the fight. Don't tell yourself you're old and and you're decrepit yeah. and you can't That's move because 
If you say you in your thirties and you say you old, bruh, I would hate to see you return your forties and your fifties. Right. And then right. you, and then your girl talking about like, man, he don't go nowhere, he don't do nothing. That ain't gonna work. Yeah. That ain't gonna work. That. Yeah, that that ain't life, bro. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I put it like this, but we had our kids very young. We had we had, we had a daughter. Our senior year, we graduated. You know, so all the all the you know the the struggles of of being a young parent. Then we got married the next year. You know, n- no handbook, um, just trying to do it as we as we saw it. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. just putting one foot in front of the other. Sometimes, or well, let me just put it like this: many, 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 many times, we we messed the we did the wrong thing. We did a lot of wrong things, <laughs> but you know, but you understand like the miracles that that God. When you know, when you say that God has you, when you don't know He has you, you get what I'm saying. Looking back, it seemed like it was a super, super duper struggle that you couldn't get through. It seemed thick, mm-hmm. you know. But as you as you look back, like any any obstacle course or any time you run, you, when you started, you are like, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I don't even see the finish line. Mm. But when you when you get like in the middle of it and you look back, you're like, Okay, I've come far. And now we're getting to the point where where we remember our high school years and like where our daughter is right now is where we, we where we was having um um where we, where she was conceived. Mm. You you get what I'm saying? Yes sir. And where where Monte is our son He's playing football as a freshman. I remember my freshman year playing football. So it's, 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 it's those things that you start to remember and you just like to sit back and be like, man, God has kept us so far because our kids don't have a um, an, uh, uh, a rest record or, you know, they're, you know, they're doing very well. They're, they're learning they, what they need to learn. They have a good life, you know what Amen. I'm saying? A lot of opportunities. And God has kept them, even though when we didn't know what we were doing, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I got it. I so got it. it. It's really, it's really, it's it's a serious situation when you're talking about bringing not just one, but you're bringing two lives into this world, and your whole job is to make sure that they have a relationship with God, but they're going to only see it through you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Now. Ms. Leo, for for yourself, um, you know, a lot of times, you you know, just from – I'm going to talk to you from your perspective. Um, your husband, just like myself, um, a lot of times when you catch us, we have a lot of flaws. Because remember, keep in mind, the stuff that people don't see, you see. And you have – how are you able to keep – your family as like the wife from your perspective to keep it together when people say, well, girl, man, y'all struggling, you know, it's better than, it's better to part your ways, you know, girl, you like, you know, you miss, you missing time. You know, you always hear people talk about, well, he ain't good enough or he's not the right one because girl, y'all struggling. That can't be God. How do you speak to those individual ladies or who are, going through those tough times and they're young in their marriage, you know, a lot of times people quit so easy in the game, but Mm -hmm. y'all been 16 years and (laughs) y'all are young 16 years. It ain't like you old 16 years, you young 16 years where a lot of things, you know, Hey, I'm getting myself together. You know, I got a lot more wisdom. I got a lot more understanding. How are you able as a wife to say, okay, well, I look past his faults to say, I'm going to keep it going. First and foremost, it's God. Everybody always asks me, what's the secret? And I'm like, there is no secret. It's God. Um, God had to walk me through understanding, like, I make mistakes. So even in Brian's mistake, it's not my time for me to leave. He had to walk me through understanding what our vows actually meant, for better or worse. It doesn't say worse is this. For better or worse means whatever, past what we expect, past what we see. And then also understanding that I just had to trust him no matter what it looked like. People are going to say, they're going to do whatever. 
but leaving is really the easiest thing to do. Staying is, that's the work. Okay. And then you see God on the other end after you get through one situation and another situation, and you just start to see these miracles. And that you get to a point where you just trust God no matter what it is. Amen. Amen. Now, B, coming to you, man, because this mm-hmm. is getting good, y'all. I think I think a lot of y'all, um, if you think this is like the different type of interview, this is an interview that's giving y'all real talk. Now, now B, you got married to her very early in the game. Yeah. I got married to my wife early in the game. A lot of cats ca- be like saying, well, man, why would you decide to marry a high school sweetheart? I said, bro, you got plenty of fish in the sea. Okay, you had a, you know, had a wedlock, so be it. Why right. did you say, I'm going to stay in this thing despite what others may say, man, I, don't, I think you should just be a, you know, just be a good father and leave her alone. How do you speak to those guys who are going through that don't see the the whole big picture? Well, I'll tell you, like, I'll be 100. Uh, I ain't want to get married. Uh, <laughs> I was that guy. Was like, yo, I don't, I don't. That that looks dangerous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know, and especially as a you know, like 19 years old. You know, and I'm like, man, I ain't even 21. We can't. You know what I'm saying? I like, we can't even. We can't go to the bar together. We can't do like what we supposed to do. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But you know, and 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 I'm a, like seriously, like you understand that. God always has his hand in, in what he needs to happen because, you know, it says his word doesn't go come back to him void. So he set out for something to happen. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? And no matter what, and you're talking to a cat that, you know, uh, you know, don't I don't have an example of what a, a husband, a, like a real husband looks like. Mm-hmm. So you you have to you have to you got to see it for what it is. You you know, you yeah, I cheated. I messed up. I left. I. We've been broke, you know, we've been struggling, we've been separated, we've been we hated each other, we loved each other. Like it's it, it's not it's not it's not the fact that a matter of, you know, it's you know, I just wanted to make sure that we always was together. No, 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 no. That is a that is a lie. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that says, Man, my marriage has been great the whole time, watch out. Mm-mm, that ain't what it is. That's a lie. You get what I'm saying? You, it, it has to do with the fact that God is, in, like, He has implemented me from birth to be a, to never have to want to quit anything. Mm-hmm. You know, hard headed as that may sound, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. First, you fine, okay? I didn't want to let that go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she, and, and and you know, then the. You know the traditional. She's the mother of my children, so that played a factor, mm-hmm. right? You, you try to do what's right, then. But you also understand that there's been a lot of good times. You're like, man, I like when she do something like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you understand that she's a writer. When you know, being in the military, you know how many people, how many wives leave their husbands on deployment, even mm-hmm. even when they're not on deployment. You know, dealing with the what the the stresses and the sacrifices that everybody understands the military member, but nobody, you know, not too many people pay close attention to the the, the family members, the dependents. They go through, if not more, than the actual service member. You know Amen. what I'm saying? Because Amen. especially when there's children involved, now you're talking about uh, a married single parent. You get what I'm saying? And that's tough. You know, we don't come we don't come back to saying we gotta get acclimated to everything, so do they. Like it's it's a it's a it's a position where you you really you're not prepared for. You cannot be prepared for at all. So at some point, bro, you know, just it's just pure I'm not gonna say I just I was a, a trusting God, you know, don't you you told me to you know, for better or worse. I'm saying that now. You get what I'm saying? But before, yeah. bro, you, I was looking for a way out. You know, wow. we just, as, 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 it was just, and sometimes she was looking for a way out and I wasn't, you know, so that kept us. And then maybe I was looking for a way out and she wasn't, mm-hmm. and that kept us. And then we were looking for a way out and then God kept us. 
<laughs> Amen. 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 Now, how long? How long were you in the military for? How many years? Twelve and a half years. Got twelve and a half. And yeah. like you know, me and V got the almost same time. I was thirteen. He was twelve. And what he's talking about is very true. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but deployments stretch a relationship. Now, I wasn't deployed. My first deployment, I wasn't deployed when me and my wife were, like, married. We were dating right. then. And because my gunny sergeant told me, he said, man, don't marry that girl yet. Wait till he's seven months to a year. If you know that's the one, you'll come back and marry. Now, I was a little different. I married her the next day after I got, got off the bus because I knew because the, the bishop at the time told me, said, don't come back to this church. <laughs> and be fornicating, you ain't gonna marry this girl, let her go. So, because God was different, and like I said, I went through a lot of struggles too. And and yeah. anybody who's saying the marriage that is perfect, you know, there's no rocky roads. Use a lie, and you you read your Bible. Because everybody in the Bible <laughs> who was married had a lot of issues and a lot of that mm-hmm. stuff. But that was happening today. That right. was been on something. On it some started with Adam and Eve. Adam and exactly. Eve. Adam and Eve. All all, all, all some stuff should never happen. Yeah. I would have left you. <laughs> see, 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 that's it. See, see, he just did like say, like, oh, girl, you ate the apple. Oh, right. Lord, you let, you let you. her go, right? That's you let you. her go. You let her go right then. I said, look, right. Father, she, she messed up. Because first yeah, thing. That was her. That was no, her, see, not me. He got distracted. That's what it was. See, Adam got distracted. I knew yep. it. He got distracted. What, he, what it was is when she ate the apple. I know, yeah, I know what it was. See, we keep I know what it was. I know we keep being G-rated. See, I, right. I know what it was when he ate. When he uh, she ate the apple, it was something she did, and he was like, "Whoa, well, let me eat this apple too." And then actually, know, he like came right. to reality. See, that's what it was. He and I tell she, people she was, oh, she was making him something to eat. Then something to eat. See, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. <laughs> but we laugh it. But um, how has for y'all when it comes to family values? Because a lot of times when you think about it, when you had your daughter and when you think about when she was in first grade, second, third, and fourth, and parents get next to you and you right next to your child, and they look at y'all strange. It's like, man, how old are you? You know, that's your child? Mm -hmm. How are you able to keep the family values and keep yourself so godly focused? Because a lot of times, a lot of young people are not able to be as family focused as y'all are family folks. How are you able to keep that all together? That's Leah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tell you straight up that's Leah. <laughs> <laughs> I I came from like a, a family oriented um that's where I like growing up that way. So I mean we had some things that um I did not want to bring in but that 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 bond that unity as far as our family values like that's like i came from that so just trying to bring it into our family and then incorporate what brian knew as far as the discipline and the and the drive and um you know setting goals and things like that and opportunities for our children because those things we didn't have so i think over time like we just it took us a while, but over time we started to talk about those things that we both wanted and mm-hmm. came together and to put it together to see how we were going to implement that in our in our family and with our children. Amen. Amen. Now, with you guys, what is what like when you have conversations with your children and you talk you talk to your daughter and you say, okay, this is how this is how I want you to be successful in life. Um, since you guys started such such early, growing up as an early age, you had to grow up a lot faster than most people because pretty much she's 17 now. So two years from that time, y'all was in the game, full-fledged adults on your own. Um, how you, uh, What kind of independent, like, sort of um, strategies have you given your children to make them very independent so that when they do get married, they're able to handle themselves? Oh, that's Brian. Um, <laughs> well, well, I mean, I think it starts from a young age. You, 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 
you try to one, you try to be truthful with your kids. They got to see your mistakes. Yeah, honestly, you got you got to be real with your kids honestly. all the time, yeah. no matter what. You know what I'm saying? And that comes, and that's if you really want to look, that's biblical. Okay, <laughs> <clears throat> no, you know, you, Jesus didn't hide nothing from them. <laughs> you know, the the Bible doesn't hide the time that David was scared and feared. You get what I'm saying? He, so there's no there's no hiding. That way they can see your struggles, and they can see. But you here's the here's the uh, the problem of it. A lot of our you know a lot of people don't see the come out. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know me and your dad used to party back in the day. Okay, then what? Yeah. You you know walk me through the process. So when I have that myself, because they are gonna they're going they're going to have to experience some stuff on their own. And then mm-hmm. from what well, from what they're taught and from what they see, they're going to make a decision to either do wrong or do right. And mm-hmm. the more knowledge they have of what is foreseen, you get what I'm saying? The, okay, mom and dad said they did this, this, and this at this age, and this was the result of it. Okay, do I want to do that myself? Wow. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? And then I exactly what you're saying. When you when and then when they when they either way they go. You get what I'm saying? They can come back to your as as your as your child, and then you can walk them through their decision. It's almost like anything else. It's a you got a brief and a debrief. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We own it. We own it. We are you feel on me? it. You brief them prior to. You let them go do the mission, and then whether it's a fail or whether it's a success, you come back and debrief and you do a lesson learned, and then you send them back out. Wow. To tell you all, we're we learning something here at the Logan Power Show. I know about y'all, but that's why I say iron sharpens iron. I don't bring no people onto this show that's a waste of time. They and should be helping you. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Consistency, brother. Yes. I'm going to get like you when I grow up. When I, when I, get, almost, when I get to my late 30s. <laughs> hey, listen, at the end of the day, it's called a lot of work, um, humility, um, I've been watching you doing your radio engineering. You know, I, I, mm-hmm. I, you know, shout out to you, shout out to your wife, um, Leah. I see, I see what you guys are doing, and you're building foundational structures. And I tell anybody that you should always encourage somebody else who's doing well, and yeah. not hate. It's not yeah. a competition. Yeah. Like, oh man, I'm trying to be like them. Like, bro, I'll be 15 years married in two months. So right. I try to, I'm not trying to compete. I'm like saying, well, hey. Let me take a strategy that they took, and I apply it in mine and say, like, well, hey, right. it worked. And then, then we go from there, like, hey, man, what's going on, man? Let's let's link up. You know, my daughter's 13. His daughter's 17. Well, she got my daughter beat by four years. Mm-hmm. A conversation must have been had because his daughter's a senior in college, senior in high school, about to go off to college, mm-hmm. and, she, and she's good to go. His son is 14, a ninth grader. My my two boys are ten and six, so it's all about what can you do to have a real conversation. And I think that's what we don't have. You don't have yeah. people say, you know what, man, go holler, go holler, go holler, my friend Brian and and Ms. Lee, go holler at the Mitchells. Tell them, tell them I sent you, and they'll give you mm-hmm. a real conversation about they lie. They may tell you some things that they may saw in us. They they say, oh. This, that's some cool thing with your parents is what we know, you know, and this is what you got to do to live right. That's what I think we don't do. We don't try to let the village get there involved. The there village has got to get involved so that we can grow because even mm-hmm. in a marriage, I'm going to tell – me and Brian can both testify to this. We didn't see the perfect husbands growing up. I'm going to be straightforward with you. And like I said, mm-hmm. it mostly it, you saw it maybe on a on a movie, maybe. If right. you got, you know, <laughs> right. Or like you right. saw the pastor you thought. The pastor you thought was like, okay, well, I'm going to get like this, but you didn't see it all at the time at home. Or you thought right. like uncle such and such was on point, but as years gone down, that wasn't the right person. And you try to find, okay, oh, I found this one. That was 100, but maybe my cousin. It wasn't it may not have been your father. You said, well, I don't be like that person. I don't make the same kind of mistakes. Right. And I think that um, what I used to hate a lot, and I don't know about anybody else, if everybody heard it, people say, well, you know, I had it hard, so make it hard for you. What? Yeah. What kind of, what kind of mentality <laughs> is that? What kind of 
Wait a second. You see right. that I, you struggle like this at 19. So I turn 19. You see me struggling. So you do the same method. That don't work. Either get, either show me. Go ahead. I tell you this, Kyle. <laughs> I, the, the thing I do want to live by is that where I, wherever I end at, I want that to be like the starting point for our children. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. If you if you really look at uh, generational wealth or generational wisdom, you know I don't care what it is, whether it be in business, whether it be in your spiritual growth, whether it be just in life. Period. That's why we as parents have to grow all the way, like all the way. You know what I'm saying? Because at some point, if your if your children at some point your children are going to pass you, if you don't grow, and then that relationship is going to be watered down. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? And and when when you when you want your children to pass, you want them to be able to pass you and carry it on to do to do so much better. Where that is is up to is up to the parent. You, you does that make sense? Makes sense. You don't want to leave your you don't want to say like you say. Well, you know, at 19, I struggle. I'm still struggling. So what? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not trying to be like that. <laughs> how about how about you know what? At 19, I struggled. At 50, we good. <clears throat> so now that, now now from at 50 years old, you have a place where I I can give you all the wisdom that I learned. I don't know everything, but I can tell you what I know. I can tell you what I've been through. I can tell you how to get through some stuff. I can tell you how to avoid some things, not based on staying in the same place, but elevating and continuing to elevate until your time is up. You get what I'm hey. saying? And then that's where that's where your 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 offspring is supposed to start. That's where that's where truly I believe that's where their adulthood starts. You know what I mean? Amen. Amen. Now you see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you right now. I'm I'm telling you. See, um. Now tell people what you guys do. Cause I know, I know, B, you, you was an engineer, you were an engineer and a host for the radio. Yeah, Plus, I don't Mr. do that B. no more. Do oh, gotcha. No but listen, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. All, 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 all I do is go by what my boy do. I encourage, like, listen, my boy was doing some engineering stuff, and I was like, oh, yeah. oh, I said, I said, my man on some new stuff right there, and then he got. Mr. B. Mitchell, if you take a look, he has his own page as well. I went for Leah to put up her page as well, too. So so let me tell you. I'm going to tell you real talk, man, I, and this is just a true statement. I think <clears throat> where we are right now, we're finally at the place where we're starting to work as a team, mm-hmm. like in, in multiple areas. I'm talking mm-hmm. about moving as one. Um, and so whatever whatever I do has something to do with Leah, it can't like I'm when I say it can't be done, it can't be done, and whatever she does has to do with me, because it can't be done because that's how it's supposed to be. Got it. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> we, we we're we're fully in business. You get what I'm saying? You know, God's been good to us to be, to where we we either have the wisdom or the drive or the knowledge or the resources or the network. <clears throat> excuse me, to where we can actually do do the things we we're, we're purposed to do. You know mm. what I'm saying? Leah loves fashion, so guess what she's in? Fashion. You know, she's she's like a freaking what do you call it? A uh 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 but she's like the doctor. You know what I'm saying? She like oh she, she oh snap. She, she like put stuff together. Yeah, you get what I'm oh, saying? Oh snap. So, she she <laughs> expert. She that, that's why that's why that's why be looking like he like he the black James Bond is dog going fool. I think <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know she she does her thing. You know what I mean? And and, and like I say, we always got to keep elevating because our children are watching even even closer now. You know what I mean? Like they got to see us moving. Mm-hmm. And you know, so we got podcasts out and um, business. Like we just we just doing a lot of different things because it's a lot of a lot of different things out there to make things happen. There's there's no ceiling. You know what I'm saying? I really do believe in the Bible when it says you can do all things. So, you know, you know, why not? Why at least not? Try, at least what what do you have to to lose if you try that out? Amen, <laughs> amen. Now, how can people get in contact with your your podcast? Where where do you need to take a look at? Where you gotta go? Man, it's, it's everywhere. I mean, you can put it. You can go to Spotify. You can go on my Instagram, Truth Be Told Podcast. Um, you can go on Facebook or Truth Be Told. You know, links is up. 
and you know, I'm gonna be real with you. It's a, it's a hundred percent truth. You know, um, it is what it is. There's no lying, and there's no there's no restrictions because the end of the day, we got enough of that. We got enough of people hiding and being phony and posing as this and posing as that and doing this and not really doing that. You get what I'm saying? Amen. So it is 100 percent real, and that's where that's the that's where after I left the radio station, that's where God took me instantly. You know what I mean? Amen. Amen. And and for those who have, if if you don't know why I mentioned some things for you, um, B was doing some engineering hosting with a radio station that was that was really blowing up, and I was, you know, I was, you know, watch B in the morning. Cause BB saying I get on his live like man, Cal, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, and I always yeah. I always want to support and listen to what my brother's doing. He talked about different type of things, subjects, things. So now he's gone to his podcast, and um, definitely gonna send me that link so I can um, support because um, I want to see my brother elevate. Um, if you ever watch you, his wife Leah as well, fashion like I said, you, if you watch B timeline from. Man, if you go back to 2012, and now be on some new, like, multi-million dollar look now. Tell you, man. That's... Yeah, that's <laughs> hey, that, that's Leo Le- Le- Le over here. Uh, I'm going to tell you what she did. She, she she read that book, Becoming, and she says, I'm going to... I may not be able to make you a president, but I'm gonna make you what I need you to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, that well, that's 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 what I know is it's a blessing. Um, now, Miss Lee, how can people get in contact with your business? Where do you need to go? Um, so you can look on, you can find me on Instagram at Legacy of Her Beauty, Ooh! or you can find me um, on Facebook. Um, it's Leah Mitchell, L E Y A, and then Mitchell. Amen. Amen. Now, before they go, I definitely want to pray for them and bless them. But I know God has for y'all. Because, you know, we're not connected for no weird reasons. Connected to do something nah. big. That's, that's why I said they've been always encouraging me. You know, be always, give a like, two thumbs up, Cal, do you. Do you. And I always, when I support him, I want to do his thing. But I do see y'all in some type of conference or something. It's like a conference, and people going to listen to y'all. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Like, real talk. Like, God going to bless you to do something different on how marriage should work, on how you should work together as a, as a unit, because you got it, the formula. And just talk about your life like, you know, hey, we, we made mistakes, we made this. And people going to listen to y'all because you have chemistry that nobody can really identify. Like, oh, that's the type of thing they are. Like, no, they got chemistry, real chemistry. Mm-hmm. And they love each other. Like it's not like you look on the face like ah man they phonify with that with that photo. Like no, nah, it's real love. It's how they household is. Um, I know for certain.
you trying to you trying to take your family to that. So I think that's the that's the blessing for it. Um, but at the end of the day, hey, I pray pray the bless heavens that's upon y'all. Again, all who are listening to us right now, again, the Logan Power Show will be back again next week, Thursday. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're getting on TV. We're doing some great things. Yeah. I thank y'all for listening. Hey, I appreciate y'all. This is Calvin Lowe, the Logan Power Show, nationwide, worldwide. Hey, we love y'all. To God be the glory. Miss Kimmy Kim, take us out, and we'll see you all next week. Bless your family. I know.